This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. Well, well, my people, hope everybody is okay. Hope everybody is all right. Deuteronomy 6 and verse 5. I wonder if you know it go. If you don't know how it go, listen now. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Yes, people, that is how it go. Make I tell you something. Today is Sunday. Happy, 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 happy Sunday. Pick up everybody who live this it today. Amongst the living and not amongst the dead. One more day. Every day above drunk is a blessing. People of Amobi, let me tell you something. If you don't wake up this morning and not hear me, give God thanks. Give God thanks because only by innocent people are dead now. You ask me never tell you the people. I must tell you. Say, if you have family members and you can't get out of the area, get out. You see me, I want the Mobia people. Them. Holy pa, holy pa, holy pa, people like a dead dung there. Cause criminal are taking wire to the streets. And the police them now do nothing but push back. But anyway, if I can give the people them some good, 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 good news. You understand? The police them finally do something. And as usual, Tupin is have to be part of the operation. The police said two men are fatally shot and four others captured after a shootout in separate incident in St. Elizabeth Police Division between Friday night and Saturday morning. A police source told our news team that shortly after 9 p.m. they were alerted that strange men were in the community of New Road on the St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland border, close to New Market in northwestern St. Elizabeth. The police said upon entering the area, they were shot up by a group of men. A shootout began and one of the men was later found suffering from gunshot wound in the nearby bushes. He was taken to the hospital dead, dead, dead. The police has not yet ascertained his identity. Subsequent operation in the area at daybreak resulted in two men being arrested. What land? When I saw big waste of time, nothing about to arrest. When I got arrest, man, fa. I slap on the slap where I'll send them. Send them back to the maker. I don't know who that is, though, but send them back to whoever make them. You understand? Two others were later captured in White Town, West Bend after an attempt to escape in a taxi. The police and illegal firearm was seized. In the second incident, a joint team from two divisions received intelligence that a man who was a person of interest was in the Williamsfield area in southern St. Elizabeth. During an operation in the wee hours of Saturday morning, the man reported engaged the police in a shootout. Tell us the boy them I watch too much cable, you know? Too much gun show and go on pan cable. I don't know exactly what I got me to him. Once engaged the right set of police, them, them not carrying. No, 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 no. Them not make him run up the tax bill. Dead, yeah, dead, right past spots on the police, them slap him. The police said an illegal firearm was also seized. The police had arrested and charged 32 year old man following the seizure of a Berta 9mm pistol and 9 rounds of ammo in Bamboo St. Anne's on Friday. Sheldon Smith, yes, people, and guess where Sheldon come from? The right down at St. Elizabeth, prospect to be exact, was charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Report that at about 6 pm, Smith was a passenger in a Toyota Probox heading towards Priory from Bamboo in St. Anne when lawmen intercepted the vehicle. Both the driver and Smith was searched and the firearm was found in Smith's bag. He was taken into custody and charged. Why the police them never make him go on and wait until him come off? Go on like them never see it. Follow the vehicle and wait until him come off, then they just slap him away. Yes, never boy forget slap him, man. But I can't even go behind bars, go waste the time and money. No, 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 we are not having it. The security force on Friday recovered two rifles and more than 300 rounds of ammo during an operation in Birch Hill in St. James. Me tell you no, St. James paper, if only can leave, leave. Yes, the war is going to get hot, 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 hot. Well, on there now, people. Remember me, I left and said the police, them now, no sense. I'm going to make you see it for yourself now. According to the police, a man was seen exiting a BMW motor car with a box during a foot patrol by lawmen. The man reported to drop the box and ran on the approach of the officers. The man knows that the police them big and lazy. Then can't show good and then can't run. So we think the man had to drop the box. All ah, the police them had to do was just must go in there and see if the boy that slap. If them now are slap him, but me think the boy should get slapped still. Let me tell you in the box now. The box was searched and an AK-47 rifle, an American tactical rifle and more than 300 rounds of ammo were found. The police said they remained committed to getting the guns and apprehend person involved in criminal activities. Hold well, on a bit. We not go about this the wrong way. We not going about this the wrong way. Criminals are supposed to get slapped with, and that is final. 
criminal supposed to get slapped where Rub that in on the little pea brain police officer here. Yeah, on the little big four fold police. Rub that in on the brain. Don't listen to fix me like I'm a showman. Me no want to listen to him. Listen to me. All this criminal supposed to get slapped with. Tell the government to look up with some money. But England, they won't give them for bill prison. Them can't take a little money now. Take a little money and build one cemetery in the hills. Yes, build one cemetery. And carry them go fling them down right there, so. No more prisoner for bill, boy. Yeah. Said what I said and I mean what I said. I'm mean, not taking back. Let me finish talk about the gun where them find. Earlier last week, the police discovered another stash of illegal weapons during an operation at the Stadium East in St. Andrew. Among the stash was a high power AK 47 rifle, a shotgun, a Uzi submachine gun, and 53 assaulted rounds of ammo. The gun was seized during an operation led by, guess who, paper, the ultimate showman, Fitz Bailey, who heads the police force crime portfolio. Describing the operation as part of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Anti gang strategy, Bailey said, We are going to guess what I'm going the people push back. That's their word for this year. Push back. This is one effort and we'll continue with several others. We are going to pull back Jamaica from the hands of the criminal elements. I want to make them get it. Oh no, make them get it in the first place. Oh no, make them get it. I'm telling you, you know, oh no, waste time. Oh no, wasting time. Slap on the supposed to slap all of them, you know. Every single one of these criminals. Hold on a bit. You see, like, come down Mount View side, right at Stadium East. You see, go walk a little bit further, go down the road and go to Jart Lane, go go to an update. The police has yet to charge two suspects apprehend in relation to the seizure of nine firearms in Jarrett Lane in Mountain View, St. Andrew, last week, Friday. In a police press conference, the ultimate showman, Fitz Bailey, said that two men remain in custody and investigation are still ongoing. The men are also to undergo further questioning. Among the men in custody is an armorer in the criminal underworld who has known to repair firearms for various gangs across the country. Showman has said tell us that this arrest is significant. We are talking about someone who repairs firearms. I know it was a blow to the criminal underworld in terms of identifying people to provide the level of support the police head of crime portfolio said. Listen, oh, barely describe this somebody when they're supposed to slap away. This man provides support right across the island. He operates like a ghost for many years and a a lot of intelligence work led to us identifying him and led to that significant success. The police in a release last weekend said following an intensive intelligent gathering process by CETA with the support from a special authorization and other formations raiding an address in Jarrett Lane where nine assorted firearms and a quantity of ammo among other military paraphernalia were seized. I want them to paraphernalia people know me I say hot boot vest everything that belongs to the army. Yes them find it up there. Yeah, man, people, now all if I got them fired when I say them is to you know, and the people them round there wonder if I don't see a man of the ball, if I tell them, I don't know, I don't know, but once me know, I don't know, me I got to tell them, come in and keep my secret for nobody. People tap on that and tell me how oh, this makes sense. This don't make sense, none tall to me. Me I'll be honest with you, know. Garner the days, what no could have got so boom, and all of one criminal and intelligence part him crown is there. Those days are no more. Those days are long gone. We don't need for national like a 1930s handbook that we are not used. Them days are no more. Them are criminal and no set safer for them behind bars and safer for them not to talk. So they must have got and hold it out. Yes, them are hold it cause. Now for them are live better life round there than when them they are run. Why you think so much of them want to catch up round there? Ask black man them man. Them me tell you. Them no want to come out of jail. Why you think so them not an attorney? Them just want to stay about the system if you know we have fear let them out so people can get for slap where well, ah, and them said what I said and I mean what I said and me not take him up. So this a boy you know after him done kill the couple. The big idiot them in the community and the police. Yes, me I call it like home seat. All sound in a sense. Every single one now know. Who no don't know what they're not supposed to use on the phone. Me tell them never fix the boy them business. When I talk about when I care them go get police and then when I talk about yo when I care make him run me could do this I make could do no 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 fix him business before the police them reach. We don't want the police them come come tell me no story. We want no such of them. We don't want no shit them the fuck. If put them behind bars for name taxpayers money. No 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 no. We can't bother with that. And speaking of eating, today's Sunday. Remember, give a little love a little and share a little. I'm going to tell you something this morning.
top full of the food and sugar. Yes, we're not top full of the food and sugar. The people that have been complaining, so they're not full of the food and sugar. We know so you can't cook, man, but God, man, why not full of food and so much sugar? We taste like good food and it still not look good. Even though some of the people that are complaining, they're still grateful. You understand? Because they say, yeah, man, my yo, it has to a huge gap in my belly. You understand? So I feel nice. Watch his face now. We know the people that are wondering, we're really going in a show like and nobody not give them no full details. No need to worry. I have it for you. I just put it together because the people them like me. You know, say how I'm all drunk. You know, say once it happened, the people them are going to tell me exactly what I'm going. I mean, I keep nothing from you. You understand? Don't need to worry. If them tell me I is what I'm supposed to do, I see me, I'm not going to get it. Just hold on a bit.